All right, guys, we're at the Get In The Mix HQ. And what's your name, sir? It's Chris. Chris, now, we had a bit of a conversation about DMX. Yes. And we both agreed that DMX is, it's not a pain in the ass, but it's something that is a bit elusive and people seem to sort of stay clear. Yeah, of, don't they? So, definitely. They're scared of it. And to be quite honest, you know, I need to get into it more, but you've shown me something that's very interesting. That, first of all, is the interface. That's what uh, you would go, isn't it? Yeah, yeah that's the so interface. From there into your lights in yep. your just daisy chain. From here, USB, I presume, into, into your, your PC. PC. Yep. And the software. First of all, what's the software called, please? It's my DMX 2.0 from American DJ. Okay. Um, and this is the little American DJ interface. Right. Uh, it looks a little bit like uh, Apple TV. Yeah. <laughs> just show, show, show me now how simple. Well, what we've is. got here, um, if, if you look over there, we've got uh, an array of lights. And we've plugged them all into the DMX box. Yep. Um, and at the moment they're just running a little program that I've set up for them. Yeah. But it's so simple to get it running. Here we've got our DMX, our DMX address bar. Yeah. Uh, going from channel one there to five one two to five one two there, and that's the amount of addresses you can have in here. Yeah. Okay. Now um, let's just take this one off. Um, what we've got here on the left hand side is we've got a, a list of um, lighting manufacturers Yeah. Um, and it lists literally every single type of light you can get and every single manufacturer that make them. And like, like we said earlier on, if all of a sudden a manufacturer makes a new light, it will be updated automatically. There's regular updates on the American <coughs> DJ website. Um, I was on there yesterday and there's <laughs> three new updates already yesterday. Wow. So um, they're constantly they're updating on the, their In other words, they're on the ball. On the ball, yeah, definitely. Sounds good. Definitely. So it's as simple as this, really. You know, uh, if you've got a light, all you're going to do is open open up the manufacturer. It's a moving moving head. So say I've got the moving head two five six zero nine six. Yeah. I grab that light, I move it across to the address bar, and I drop it. Bang. Yeah. Okay. And then what happens here under your channels is it opens up all of the channels on each address that you have just addressed. That it I have to. just addressed it to. Got you. Now obviously we've got ones that are already addressed in yep. our bank, and what you can see here. Is I've got a couple of moving heads running on here. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to stop them from moving around like they are at the moment and jittering. Sorted. Then They've stopped. We've got pan. Ah, oh, sorry, beg your pardon. Right, okay. Tilt. Yeah. Controls here. Yeah. I can control the lights. We've yeah. also got the colour that we can pick and choose. Uh, the flower type that we've got, the Gobo 7, Gobo 6, you can see it changing here. Mm -hmm. um, and various other controls in there, including the dim. You've also got strobe effects in there as well. The dim of the light, so you can dial it right down. So what you can do is go in there and actually pre-program a show for that particular light. You know what, I'm going to have this. It is amazing. I'm going to get it. Stop. it is I'm going to get it. End of story. Absolutely amazing. Um, but once you've... Um, once you've dropped the address into here, and what you can see now is I've got various lights in here on the address bar. And if I click on the EL200 RGY, which is the laser I've got running up the top there, yeah. I've clicked on that, and then it will tell me what address to actually locate on the light. It will tell me physically what address to put the light on the dip Because th this, the, this is the difficulty some people find, is how they switch the dip switches. So, of course, this will tell you. So all you do is you transfer that onto the back of the unit. That's correct, yeah. And then also you've got you go, the X move. You can see again the address is now changed. Yeah. Now with the um, with the lights we've got there are uh, uh, um, LCD screen, so you you've got to go over there and physically change the address. It's not a dip switch system like you do on the older lights. Yeah. But you can see that on the address there we're starting at number eleven. Yes. So all we will do is go over to the go over to the light itself, and on the back of the light. Yeah. If I just set it back down. I've just killed the light, mm -hmm. and then we should not go to the back of it. And then you can see on the back of the light, we've set, we press menu, it says address, ADDR. Yeah. We press enter, it flashes. So now we can go to the address, which is 11 on this case. Mm -hmm. Press enter, and that's now set. So we've got the software telling us it's address 11. 
we've got the light which is going from address 11 yes so now it, it now talks to the software and it's as simple as that fantastic that's that's brilliant so again uh, we're getting the mixes concerned how can people get this interface and software from you it's it's on it's on our website you know you can either go on the website uh, and download it uh, sorry, go on the website and buy yep. it buy it straight from the website directly yes. um, mm. the software itself is actually free to download from from American DJ okay you don't get any software in the packaging at all no nope. uh, all you get is a little uh, interface yeah um, but the software is there to download but you can't operate the software without the interface on there fine okay, okay. All right, thank you very much. I will say practice and enjoy. And, ladies and gentlemen, as well as myself, let's no longer be scared of DMX. Let's have some fun. Practice and enjoy. Thank you. <laughs>